Swamp ass is like a distant cousin to what I have going on in and around my body right now. Whew. That is right. Like it is time to make banana bread with those pits. They are so right. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, we head north for better weather, but get caught in a heat wave. And daily showers? What are those? We don't know. This is Van Life. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. It's gonna be a good day, I decided. Yesterday was a doozy. Don't know if you saw that video, but we need a redo. Let's check out the view. I love it here. We're right outside of Bryce Canyon. It's so peaceful and beautiful here. Today, however, I need to scoot up north because the reason I'm here in the first place is it's getting too hot everywhere else. So I just need to be up in the mountains. I'm heading to Salt Lake because I need a Starbucks. And I know for a fact there has to be a good Starbucks in Salt Lake with good internet. I want to go to Yellowstone National Park. I wonder what the weather is there right now. High of 70s and 80s. Yellowstone, I'm coming for you. I also want to go to Salt Lake because I have not showered in four days and I have a Planet Fitness. Whew. That is ripe. Like it is time to make banana bread with those pits. They are so ripe. Yeah. Shit. It's like too late to make guacamole. It's so ripe under there. Disgusting. It was such a shit day yesterday, but this makes it all worth it. I just need to figure out my internet situation. I planned on editing a video last night, but I got like so tired. There's only so much your little eyeballs can take, I think, staring at a screen. I feel like I don't have time to adventure because I spend all my time editing and uploading videos. I really want to stay here and edit, but we're running out of precious resources. Jackery's on 7%. Need to plug in my computer. We need to go to a coffee shop and upload is what it comes down to. Oh, I don't want to leave you though, beautiful morning. We had a good time together, but it just wasn't meant to last. Call me. And also, this place was clean yesterday, like spick and span clean. It gets so dirty so fast. I think because there's only one space. This is my kitchen counter. This is my bathroom counter. This is my office. This is where I do yoga in the morning. So I'm going to tidy up. We're going to upload and head north to greener pastures. Welcome to Inappropriate PP Storytime. So there I was, in the middle of the woods. Here's where I pee in the morning. I open this door, I put one foot here, I put the other foot here, and I squat and I pee like this. It's great fun. Got a nice view of the trees, and then I look over, and there's someone staring straight at me, like sitting in the back of their trailer, just direct eye contact direct eye contact. Have you ever made direct eye contact with someone while you're peeing? That was the first for me. His horse was even watching me pee. It was so embarrassing. But, you know, we gotta go, you gotta go. And we are off. Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Bye, horsies. I'm sorry you had to see me urinate this morning. I apologize. Did I forget to take down my ukulele? I did, didn't I? Right. See, this is why I need a husband. I need someone to keep me in mind. I just need someone to be the right brain in the relationship. I can be the right brain, but it's exhausting for me. I just want to paint and read novels. I don't want to remember things or be responsible. I want to go buy acrylics and paint a mountain and have brunch with my gals. I just want to do watercolor and meet Kendra and Stephanie for brunch. It's not too much to ask. Actually, Kendra and Stephanie were two of my very best friends growing up. That's funny. Hey, gals. So this is day four. I haven't showered. But don't get me wrong. I've been doing a little PTA clean. Little pits, tits, and ass. We're wiping down the pits. We're wiping down the wobbly bits. And don't you forget it. There kind of smells, though. It's like past time to make guacamole. You lost your chance to make guacamole. It's so ripe in there. Like those grapes have turned to raisins. Like someone called the exterminator. It is so ripe in here. We have a fruit plant problem. <laughs> I'm at this coffee shop again and the reason I go to coffee shops is for the internet but also to plug in but they only have like the old school outlets with the two plugs and it doesn't have the third hole hashtag fam life so I have quite the jackery setup happening I'll show you 
there's people right over there, so I don't want to be annoying. I have the solar panels over here out of the way so people don't have to step on them on their way through, but check this out. Hashtag online. You ever tried taking falsies off without water? This one took 20 minutes. This one's taken 15. I'm about to just rip all my eyelashes out. I don't even care anymore. Just get off of me. This is why I do not remove them every day. Yeah. Here we are again, in front of a closed coffee shop, sweating our balls off and waiting for our computer to upload. We're at 44%, but it still has two hours to go, so instead of waiting the two hours, I think I'm gonna drive three hours to a Starbucks, upload there, and start making my way north. Like I said, the reason I came here is because there's a heat wave, but the only coffee shop here closes at two. And I'd rather sit in an air-conditioned Starbucks when it's 110 outside than have to be outside in 90 degree heat. Does that make sense? So, we're gonna head north. Plus I badly, badly, badly need a shower. Oh, my back door's closed. Suck it through and life. If you ever find yourself on the way to Bryce Canyon driving through Panguitch, stop at Savier Coffee Company. I think that's how it's pronounced. S-E-V-I-E-R. Come on down to that Savier Coffee Co. That Savier has the best coffee roast in town. I tell you what. 210 miles. I wonder. We have a 203 mile cruising range. Okay, we'll risk it. Actually, well, let's see how much gas prices are on the way out and then see how much we want to risk it. I think we got everything. We have one, two jackeries in the van. For this damn thing keeps coming unfastened. There you go. Love you. <laughs> Armor's fastened. No, I'm not, gang. Desk is fastened. Ukulele, mirror. Van one point today, Dana one point today. So there, just stopping to get gas. And I want to thank Christina Spala. She bought me this tank of gas today. Thank you, I appreciate you, girl. Getting me up to Salt Lake City. Maggie's happy, ready to hit the road. <laughs> to see if I can get this video uploaded. I wanna get out and stretch my legs and I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some food that is not McDonald's. So just gonna leave my computer in my car to hopefully upload a video. Please, I said please. Sometimes McDonald's kicks you off though. So I wanna kinda of keep an eye on it. But I was able to get online because I ordered a mail order husband. He's from the Philippines. He's an excellent driver and he'll rub your feet. We have that to look forward to. Come on, are you doing anything? Well, it says it's uploading, so. Or I'm about two hours away from Chipotle, but I don't want to wait, I'm so hungry. Come on, dude, you're not doing anything. I wonder if their dining room is open. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. Three hours, okay. Well, we tried. I guess I'm just gonna snack on carrots and cottage cheese and hit the road, save myself for Chipotle. I think that's just life. Oh, excuse you. Telling me that I need Chipotle tonight. God, look at all the Bob Rosses on the side of these mountains. I wanna get out. I'm in Orem, Utah, and I found a Chipotle right next to Starbucks. Is this heaven on earth? Uploading the video, hallelujah and amen. I might just chill here for a little bit and keep editing. Orem's supposed to get down to 60 tonight and Salt Lake City is supposed to stay around 75. So I might find a place to sleep here tonight and just edit videos. Just edit videos till my eyeballs fall out. My dog's so hungry. I was on the phone with my Aunt Linda and she was talking about the taco salad she was eating and I was like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. That sounds so good. There's also a Planet Fitness not too far away. So I think I'm gonna hit that up first. I really wanna exercise because I've been like editing a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting a lot lately and I'm driving. Just need a workout tonight. So. Yes, upload baby. Who just edited for the last two hours and did not go to the gym and is now heading to the Cracker Barrel parking lot to finish editing. I don't know, some other chick, she went that way. No, that's me. I did not go to the gym and I haven't showered in four days. Um, oh crap, I'm an idiot. I was just in Starbucks and I did not use the bathroom. <sighs> I'm not peeing in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. God, I suck at van life. It's so hot in here. I don't wanna open my door in the Cracker Barrel parking lot, but I think I have to. Editing coma complete, I'm so tired. I'm trying so hard to catch up on videos or get ahead on videos and it hurts my eyeballs. 
But I do have this little fan. Let's check it. This little USB guy. He is small but mighty. Put it right next to your face when you're sleeping. It does wonder. You remember Eric and Corinne? They helped me with the van build. Well, I guess their brother lives here and he reached out to me. So I'm like tempted to go park in front of his place. I've never met him though. So is that weird? And I might be awkward enough as it is. But it's 10 p.m. And edit coma is happening. It's just, I can't. I can't see anyone who is even remotely attractive right now. Like the amount of fool I make out of myself when I'm in full functioning capacity. It's quite extensive, so I can't imagine meeting someone at this moment in time. <laughs> it barely does anything, but what would be perfect is if I could like fasten it up there somehow. Let's see. Wedge it in there? Oh god. I just broke my skylight. Yeah, that's definitely falling on top of me and scaring the shit out of me at 3 a.m. Absolutely. I don't feel anything. I don't know. I think I'd rather have it right by my face. It's taking every fiber of my soul to remove my makeup right now, but I'm going to do it. I need to shower so bad. Yesterday, I just sat in the 95 degree heat and edited my videos and cleaned out my van. I'm going on like three days full sweat, full sweat mode. Swamp ass is like a distant cousin to what I have going on in and around my body right now. That's so hot. I'm gonna be such a sweaty little kitten all night. I don't wanna be the stinky kid in class. I don't know why I keep doing this voice, like the stinky little kitten. I think it's like a version of Moira from Schitt's Creek. I don't know. I love that show. Do you guys have any new shows you've been watching? I'm like super into comedies and then Outlander. <laughs> love me some Jamie. Love me some Jamie. But I need some new shows because I'm like, I don't know if you heard, I'm a city kid now and I have four bars, bitch. We're just going to keep wiping everything. Just going to wipe this. Yeah, that's my calf muscle. We're going to wipe that. Kneecap, definitely wiping that down. Can't be meeting any cute boys tonight. Are you serious? Like, hey, what's up? Haven't showered in four days. Can I use your shower? That's not hot. It's not cute. Oh, yeah. I'm so tired. I almost finished editing a second vlog. I still didn't even finish it. So we're going to try again tomorrow. So if you made it this far in the video, I want you to comment TV show in the comments and tell me what I need to be watching. If you haven't watched any TV shows, tell me your favorite movie of all time because I'm so down to watch a movie. Hydroclonic, hydro, hydro, hydronic acid. Still don't know how to say this. $1.50, $3, $4.50. This shit is expensive. Oop, I dripped it on the floor. I'm just gonna scoop that up, put it right here under my eyelids. I feel like I don't even do anything fun anymore because all I do is edit and try and find internet, so. It's okay, I have a couple travel days the next few days, so bear with me and then we'll go adventure. It's funny, because like now that I'm doing van life full-time, I feel like I need to adventure every single day. When before, I would go like once a week, once every two weeks. There's so much I want to see. It's so hot. Huh? So I shaved off all my hair but I didn't do nothing. I'm melting. All right, let's check out the fan situation. How we doing? It's doing nothing. I was doing this angle before, but it shows my very hairy armpit. I've noticed like a lot of van life women just like let their pits go. And I don't know why, but I envy that. Cause I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Thank you for spending this travel day with me. I've been reading all the comments, you guys, and I'm feeling the love. Like, you guys have been so awesome, so supportive of me and my journey. I really appreciate it. Just don't tell Journey we were talking about her. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.